What's up, you guys? So um, I wanted to talk to you guys today. Um, I saw a question that was asked about being an OBGYN PA, and I was like, oh, you know, that's me. Let me answer it for you. So I wanted to answer that question for you. So if you're interested in like surgery and women's health, um, this video is for you. But I also wanted to answer some questions that you guys may have had about like where I've been, what's been going on. Um, so if you want the answers to those questions as well, this video is for you. So let's get into the video right now. What's up, you guys? It's Adana. Welcome back to my channel. Okay, so, you know, I... I was like, you know, let me make this video really quickly for you guys and just kind of update you on what's been going on. You know, I many of you have been like sending me messages on Instagram like, what's going on? Where have you been? I haven't seen a post. And yes, I have not posted on YouTube in about a month and that is because I've just been busy. Okay, you guys, like I've been busy like transitioning like um, our studio space, my husband and I were starting a, a new show about Christian life, family, and entertainment. And, um, you know, I'm excited about that. And we had to like revamp the studio space. And so we were working on that. And with the revamping of that studio space meant that down the PA studio space was also being revamped and where I would be filming. So that had to take place. Um, and um, with the revamp, like, it's beautiful, you guys. I really love it. I I'm, I can't wait to reveal it to you guys. You guys are going to love it, I think. Um, but it's, it's also going to be a transition in terms of, like, what I'm doing on the channel as well. We're going to be, like, doing some more cool things. Um, it's not going to just only be talking head. Um, and it's not only going to be me. And I think that that's important for you guys to have other opinions other than just my own. So um, I'm excited about this. I hope you guys um, just continue to, like, rock with me and stay through it because there's going to be good things. And we're still going to be answering your questions on, you know, PA school and stuff. So have no fear about that. We're going to be... I'm going to be on this journey with you, okay? Um, but apart from that, I mean, there's been lots of birthdays, graduations, I just celebrated a 15 year anniversary. My daughter is in a transition year. One of our daughters is so like just trying to figure out like what we're doing for school for her. So it's been a lot. All right. So um, I had to take a step back, which is fine, you know, and even if I wasn't doing a lot and I just wanted to take a step back because, you know, YouTube can be a lot. Um, that's fine as well. Okay, now let's get into the question. Okay, so now that we've gotten like the that out of the way, the housekeeping on what I've been doing, where I've been, let's get into the question. So the question was asked, can you go in to OBGYN or a surgical subspecialty like straight out of PA school? And the answer is yes, obviously, in terms of like, it's happened, right? But is that the norm? So like, I mean, I went into a surgical subspecialty right out of PA school. I was a trauma PA, which was acute care surgery and trauma. So we did general surgery and trauma surgery as well. Um, I loved it. It was great, a uh, great learning experience. It's given me a lot. I still do trauma from time to time. Um, but now I transitioned to primarily OBGYN, which is what I wanted to do like for the longest be in women's health um and so with that being said i did need like a little bit more experience so when it comes to like those specialties like your OBGYN, emergency medicine even like general surgery a lot of the times they're looking for people with experience and when you're looking at these job postings it says like three to five year experience um there are places obviously that will take people with less experience uh, that working in that particular field, but maybe you have more experience as a physician assistant, um, physician associate for the states that have adopted that term. But honestly, it is doable. But I would say that if you are truly interested in being in one of those specialties that you should look for a fellowship like these are really the only times that I promote like doing a fellowship I'm like uh, I don't really see the point in them because at the end of the day you're gonna get on the job training but the residency is more like an opportunity for you to get more direct like hands-on experience as well as like coddling slash training like they expect something of you but not as much as they expect of you when you're like a full-fledged um you know pa working in the particular field so these are when i would say i'll go ahead look for um a pa residency program in like women's health 
or emergency medicine um, and then get you get that under your belt for your year or so and then you can take that experience and try to get into um, that particular specialty of your choosing uh, but to really answer your question it's just it's very murky it's like yes but it's not the norm so really it's kind of like a no like it's not very normal for people to just go into um an OBGYN specialty straight out of PA school especially if it is um I would say like out like out of the hospital like in hospital may be a little bit easier because you know you're you're getting into like the system but out of like outpatient is a little bit more difficult so just keep that in mind okay so hopefully that answered your question um excited about the new show so i'll tell you guys more about that you can follow me on that as well that area over there if you just want to hear about some christian life family and entertainment um and if you have any questions for me about just pa school in general leave them in the comment section below okay thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to like and subscribe follow me on instagram at adam the pa i will talk to you guys next time bye